Hi everyone, this is Andrew, and today I'll be talking about the current state of basic income. So first of all, let's define what basic income is. This is a definition I wrote last year. Basic income is a proposed alternative to social welfare, which gives every citizen of a society a guaranteed regular income. This amount is enough to cover the basic necessities in life, and is given to all citizens, regardless of their current financial status. There is no means testing, and consequently no stigma attached to it. People who work will keep every cent of their basic income. People who cannot find work, or choose not to work, can rely entirely on their basic income. Okay, so what's the current state in Australia? What are the politicians saying? So Chris Bowen, the Shadow Treasurer of Australia, he gave a speech in June um, titled, The Case for Action on Inequality. So at least he's admitted that there is a, a problem with inequality in Australia, and around the world, obviously. He states, Firstly, we are the Labour Party. We believe in the value of work. As has been said in the UK, the clue is in the name. We must not give up on our mission of ensuring dignity through work for Australians. Okay, not sounding too good at the moment. A universal basic income would be just that, universal, providing payments to millionaires at a considerable cost to the taxpayer, but payments that would barely be noticed by people of means. Okay, doesn't sound too positive about the idea. It's hard to think of one single policy idea that would take income inequality backwards this much. Okay, he clearly doesn't like basic in income. Making us even more unequal as a society, or delivering us an unsustainable tax system. Okay, Chris Bowen. He's not interested in the idea of a basic income. He wants labour for people. That is, he wants people to work. It doesn't matter if they're bullshit jobs. See my post on bullshit jobs. He just wants everyone to be able to work. Have meaning in their life. Fair enough. Okay. Jim Chalmers. He's also a labour MP. He's written a book called Changing Jobs. The Fair Go in the New Machine Age. Sounds like a pretty good... Uh, title for a book. In his book he states, For someone with the imagination and resolve to make electric cars mainstream, send rockets into space, and plan for the colonization of Mars, billionaire and tech entrepreneur Elon Musk is surprisingly simplistic and defeatist when it comes to the impact of technology on the labor market. Okay, so he's attacking Elon Musk. If Australia were to adopt a form of UBI, it would be a backward step. It would mean giving the same amount of government support to a high-level CEO as to a single mum struggling to keep food on the table. Okay, he's taking the Labor stance, similar to Chris Bowen. It would mean dismantling a system that ensures support goes to those who need it most. If it replaced the current system, it would actually increase inequality, not decrease it. Right, so he's all for not changing a thing. He's all for keeping everything exactly how it is, because our system is obviously the most perfect system in the world. And I thought I'd better give Elon Musk a bit of a uh, retort. So he's the uh, CEO of SpaceX and Tesla Inc., as well as other companies. So at the World Government Summit in Dubai on February 13th, he states, there will be fewer and fewer jobs that a robot cannot do better. I want to be clear, these are not things I wish will happen, these are things I think probably will happen. And if my assessment is correct, and they probably will happen, then we have to think about what are we going to do about it. I think some kind of universal basic income is going to be necessary. The output of goods and services will be extremely high. With automation, there will come abundance. Almost everything will get very cheap. I think we'll end up doing universal basic income. It's going to be necessary. The much harder challenge is, how are people going to have meaning? A lot of people derive their meaning from their employment. So if there's no need for your labour, what's your meaning? Do you feel useless? That's a much harder problem to deal with. Okay, and let's get some insight from another tech leader, Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook CEO. So at the Harvard, sorry, at his Harvard University commencement speech, this is May 25th, 2017, we should have a society that measures progress not just by economic metrics like GDP, but by how many of us have a role we find meaningful. We should explore ideas like universal basic income to make sure everyone has a cushion to try new ideas. 
As our technology keeps on evolving, we need a society that is more focused on providing continuous education through our lives. And yes, giving everyone the freedom to pursue purpose isn't going to be free. People like me should pay for it, and a lot of you are going to do really well, and you should, too. Okay. So, what trials are currently taking place? Basic income trials. Well, in Finland, 2,000 people receive 560 euros every month for two years. Recipients do not have to report whether they are seeking employment or how they are spending the money. There have been reports of decreased stress levels and improved mental health. Ontario, Canada. Three-year project will give participants up to $17,000 for single individuals or $24,000 for couples less 50% of any earned income. Netherlands, six municipalities approved to proceed with two-year experiments, which will begin in September-October 2017, so that should be happening very soon, if not already underway. Glasgow, Scotland, the City Council has partnered with the think tank Royal Society of Arts RSA, to investigate designs for a basic income pilot. And finally, Hawaii, the first US state to pass UBI legislation. Well, there we go. That's the current state of basic income in Australia and around the world. As you can probably tell, Australia has a very backward mentality to this kind of thing. It's fairly usual in Australia. Politicians don't like to uh, rock the boat or change the status quo. They like to keep everything exactly how they are until, until something forces them. I'm sure if the rest of the world adopted a basic income, Australia would follow suit. Tech leaders, as you can see, are proponents of the idea. They come from a different place, though, than politicians do, don't they? One thing I noticed that all the people in my presentation were rich white people in general, weren't they? Um, I'm also white, but I'm not rich, so I guess I'm the, the other side of the coin. But Anyway, that'll do us for today. If you have any questions about a basic income or any comments, please leave them for me in the comments section below. Until next time, thank you for listening. See you!